Hey guys, welcome back to the Halo Forge Epidemic. This is Psychoduck, and I'm here continuing with PAX 2014 coverage of the Master Chief Collection, and basically Halo news in general. Uh, we just put out a video covering uh, Forge details, obviously that was a big thing for us. Uh, so if you're interested in that, go back and watch that video if you haven't already. But uh, I just wanted to get the rest of the details out to you guys. Um, I know not everyone has time or access to the watch a, a panel for an hour long, so I, I think uh, getting all the details out in a quick video is always nice. So uh, one of the first things they talked about at the panel uh, was Halo Nightfall, and they didn't spend a whole lot of time on it, but they showed some cool shots of, uh, you know, just where they were shooting uh, in Iceland and stuff. And uh, what they talked about was how uh, the series is set on a fragment of the Alpha Halo that broke off when, uh, you know, Chief destroyed it uh, at the end of Halo CE. Um, and this fragment has like drifted towards this dying star and uh, is in this like irregular orbit and um, basically as the this fragment like rotates um, you know when when the face of it is exposed to the Sun it's just uh, uninhabitable uh, so this team with you know agent Locke and stuff is sent there and um, you know they have like 16 hours uh, before you know the Sun's going it come up or you know the thing's gonna rotate to face the sun and they'd all get fried so that they have 16 hours and it's like a race against time and all this cool stuff and it, it sounds pretty cool um the next thing they talked about uh, and they spent a lot of time on this uh was the sound design for halo 2 anniversary so um you know as you would expect they re-recorded all of the game audio and it sounds pretty cool they did some really cool comparisons and stuff Um, you know, so, so that's cool, but, uh, what's really awesome is, uh, in regards to, uh, the soundtrack, which was also re-recorded, and, um, they used Skywalker Sound, and, uh, for all the guitar parts, which were pretty iconic in the Halo 2 soundtrack, they got Steve Vai, the legendary guitarist, to record them. <laughs> I mean, that, like, blew my mind. I thought that was super cool. Uh, and, and they are releasing this soundtrack uh, the, the day the package comes out, which is November 11th. Um, they also had, uh, you know, in, in Halo 2's original soundtrack, they had a, an Incubus song, Follow, and a Breaking Benjamin song, which would blow me away, uh, which played at different parts of the campaign. Um, so now, uh, they said they wanted to modernize it a little bit, and I thought they were going to come out with some, like, new wave garbage and <laughs> put that in there or something, but instead, they got Misha Mansour, who is this incredibly talented guitarist, uh, from, I know him best from a band called, uh, Animals as Leaders, which is this, like, all-instrumental progressive metal band, um, which I saw them live, they were amazing. Uh, but Misha Mansour has two uh, uh, tracks in there. We got to hear one, uh, if metal's not your thing, you, you might not be super into it, but I think it'll fit in the sort of the epic uh, encounters in Halo 2 where it, where it goes. Um, also, uh, they talked about how, um, like, with the sound, the original game sound is tied to the original video. Uh, visuals and then the new game sound is tied to the new visuals so when you're in classic mode in the campaign it's going to be old old graphics old sound and then at the press of a button it instantly switches to new graphics new sound new soundtrack all that good stuff so that's really cool um they've also talked about uh they mentioned kind of on that front like that's an instant switch now and it wasn't in halo ce anniversary but i guess in that package or in this package uh halo ce anniversary is actually upgraded to have that instant switch as well um i Another cool thing, and this was actually announced a couple days ago, uh, is that Lockout is, you know, the, the fifth confirmed uh, Halo 2 anniversary multiplayer map that's being remastered. Obviously, Lockout's a very special map with a long history of being this really lovable map. Uh, but they went into some more detail about it today. Uh, they talked about the dynamic elements on here, which I'm actually really excited about these. Like, I've been kind of skeptical about these on some of the other maps. Um, but Lockout, first of all, I think this is, like, the best-looking uh, remastered map they've shown so far. It looks amazing. But they talked about uh, the little glass panel in the center of, uh, you know, the, the middle platform, the central platform, uh, is actually breakable now. It takes like three 
plasma grenades to, to break. And it actually respawns, so I guess it's like special forerunner. Like, it's not actually glass, it's like an energy field or something. Uh, but that's kind of cool, because that actually changes the way you're going to interact with it between the multiple levels in, in the center of the map. Uh, there's also these stalactites, which is kind of a feature from like waterworks in Halo 2. There are three, and one stalactite is over top BR. BR3, uh, one is over the center of the map, and then one is over the sniper tower, and, uh, you know, you, you can drop these stalactites by shooting them on the, you know, on players, so if an enemy team is really locking down BR tower, you can, you can, you know, kind of disorient them and knock them off for, uh, you know, temporarily and uh, try to regain control of that area. They also changed the elbow a little bit and made it a bit uh, larger and added a teensy bit of cover on there, which is totally cool. Uh, and Bravo had a cool little video he put together that showed off like some of the attack jumps that are returning. Obviously Lockout has a million different skill jumps that you can do, and uh, you know, so those are all back. And uh, exactly as we remembered them. So that's really exciting. I cannot wait to play Lockout. I think it's going to be really cool. So, uh, and I guess uh, one last thing they showed was Halo 3 um, in 60 frames per second and, you know, 1080. Uh, and honestly, watching this stream, I couldn't tell a difference because of the stream quality. But, uh, you know, they, they, they were talking about that and they were showing it off. Uh, maybe if you can find a really high res recording on the stream, you can uh, tell the difference, I don't know. Um, another thing, and I think I forgot, I was going to mention this in the little Forge video, uh, was at the end when they were doing a Q&A session, um, one guy asked about like transferring maps over from Halo 3 Forge and Halo 4 Forge and maps and custom game types, and uh, previously I swear they said that you couldn't do it, but uh, Dan Ayub said that you could but his answer i don't know his answer was weird he said if it was there previously it'll be there now um or something like that and I, I don't know it, it was kind of weird but apparently we can do that so that's exciting you know you can transfer those halo 3 and halo 4 maps over of course i'm going to be wanting to just play you know work on forge and halo 2 anniversary myself but uh anyways uh yeah i think that pretty much sums up the uh details um we're I'm pumped about the Forge stuff, but all, all these details are really cool. Uh, this game's going to be really exciting this November, so uh, I look forward to it coming out, and I will continue getting you guys details about it prior to launch, and then we will, of course, support it in every imaginable way uh, once the game releases. So uh, I'm pretty excited. I hope you guys are too, and uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.